In this video, we will look at solving equations by factoring, where we have to simplify first. Before we make the equation equal to 0, often it will be useful to simplify what we can first. For example, on this problem, it's difficult to know how to make it equal 0 with the multiplication on the left. We will start by distributing through the parentheses to get 2x squared plus 8x equals 3x minus 3. Now we can see, after simplifying, the x squared is positive on the left, so we will move everything to the left side. We can do this by subtracting 3x and adding 3 to both sides. This will give us 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals 0. We can quickly factor this using the AC method, 2 times 3 is 6, and adding to 5. As we can see, 2 and 3 are the numbers that make this work. We're ready to build our factors that equal 0. The only way to multiply to 2x squared is 2x times x. This means on the outside, we're multiplying by 2, and the only way to get one of our numbers is 2 times 1, which equals 2. In the inside, we have x times 3 to give us the 3x. Now we have our expression factored, and so we can make each factor equal to 0. 2x plus 3 equals 0, and x plus 1 equals 0. Those equations quickly solve by subtracting 3 to get 2x equals negative 3, and dividing by 2 to get x equals negative 3 halves. The second equation, we solve by subtracting 1 to get x equals negative 1. Simplifying first allowed us to make the equation equal 0, so we could factor and set each factor equal to 0. Let's see if we can solve another problem where we do just that. In this problem, we see on the left side it's factored, but it's not equal to 0. For this reason, we must multiply it out to see what we have. 6x squared plus 2x minus 9x minus 3 equals negative 8x minus 1. We can combine the like terms on the left side to get 6x minus 7x minus 3 equals negative 8x minus 1. The x squared is positive on the left, so let's keep moving things to the left side, adding 8x and adding 1. This gives us 6x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. Now that it equals 0, we're ready to factor using the AC method, multiplying to negative 12 and adding to 1. 4 and negative 3 make this work. There are two ways to multiply to 6x squared. 6x times 1 will not work, because neither of our numbers are divisible by 6. So we must use 2x times 3x. To get the 2x times the last term, must be 2x times 2. In the middle, 3x times something must equal negative 3, Th must be negative 1. We can now solve this expression by setting each factor equal to 0. We solve these quickly by adding 1 to both sides to get 2x equals 1, dividing by 2 to find that x equals 1 half. The other equation, we can solve by subtracting 2, giving us 3x equals negative 2, and dividing by 3 to get x equals negative 2 thirds. We can solve our equations by first simplifying, making them equal 0, factoring, and setting each factor equal to 0.